final chapter may have been written in the illustrious career of Chuck the Iceman Liddell on Saturday night at UFC 115 in Vancouver, the promotion's first foray into Western Canada. In the main event, Liddell pressed the action against former UFC middleweight champion Rich Franklin before eating a crushing short right to the chin, leading to his demise at 455 of the first round. Franklin earned an extra $85,000 for knockout of the night. Post-fight, UFC President Dana White assured fans that they've seen the Iceman compete in the octagon for the last time. In the co-feature, former Pride Grand Prix winner Mirko Krokop picked up a much-needed victory against fellow K-1 veteran Pat Barry. The Duke Rufus trained Barry connected with several punishing shots in the early going, dropping Krokop twice in the opening stanza. Krokop began to find his rhythm in the second round as he picked Barry apart with a multitude of kicks to the body. Krokop took advantage of an exhausted Barry in the third round, dropping him with an onslaught of strikes and following suit with a rear naked choke for the fourth submission win of his career and his first submission of the night bonus. In welterweight action, Denmark's Martin Kampman outclassed Brazilian Paulo Thiago over three rounds, utilizing vastly superior technical striking and holding his own in the grappling exchanges. Kampman, who prevailed via unanimous decision, improves to 17-3. and three. In a heavyweight meeting, former IFL standout Ben Rothwell battled pride veteran Gilbert Ival. Rothwell took control of the bout in round one, securing a takedown and working from top position. However, Ival reversed Rothwell on the ground several times in the first and second rounds, nearly finishing Rothwell with a barrage of punches in the second stanza. However, the resilient Rothwell took advantage of Ival's suspect gas tank in the third round, controlling the Dutchman from top position for the full five minutes to ensure the nod by unanimous decision. Despite a shaky performance, Rothwell improves to 31-7 and, and picks up his first UFC victory. In the opening contest on the pay-per-view card, Rory McDonald and Carlos Condit went to war and about the one fight of the night honors. The 20-year-old Canadian was sensational in the early going, taking the fight to the former WEC welterweight champion. However, Condit recovered with a brilliant third round, completely dominating his younger adversary with violent blows before referee Kevin Dornan halted the contest with only seven seconds remaining in the final round. What's up? This is Gina Carano and you're watching The Fight Network. <laughs> this is UFC fighter Sam Hands of Stone Stout. Tune into MMA Meltdown on the Fight Network. Well, I'm coming for you.